The Digitize Blocks tool is ideal for creating turning filled objects that also have a variable width. Therefore, it's ideal for satin stitch. When you create an object using the Digitize Blocks tool, you create it using a pair of matching left and right side points. These points determine not only the width of the object, but also the angle of the stitches. To create the shape of the object, you can use a straight point or a curved point. In Wilcom Hatch, to create a straight point, you use your left mouse button. To create a curved point, you use your right mouse button. Let's take a look. To locate the Digitize Blocks tool, from your left toolboxes, expand Digitize, then select Digitize Blocks. First, let me zoom into my objects. Remember when using Digitize Blocks, you create a matching left and right points. These points create not only the width of the object, but also the angle of the stitches. For example, the left side, right side, left side, right side, left side, right side, left side, and right side. Then press enter to generate your stitches. Let's do that again, but this time I'll describe the difference between a straight node and a curved node and also explain how to control your stitch angles. Once again, select Digitize Blocks. For a straight node, left click your mouse button. For curved node, right click your mouse button. Now I need to determine my stitch angle. When I drag my mouse across to do my right side, the line that's created is also the line of your stitch angle. It's a good idea to get as close as you can to 90 degrees from your first node. And then left side and right side. Once again, press enter to generate your stitches. Let's move on to the next object. This is a simple L-shaped object, but there's also some tips to help you create these as well. Again, using digitize blocks, this time hold down your control key on your keyboard. The control key will let you snap your stitch angles at 15 degree increments. For example, left click, drag, hold down control, and adjust your stitch angle. You can see the stitch angle is snapping automatically at a 15 degree increment. Let go of control, and you can adjust any stitch angle that you like. Using control is a great way to get a straight stitch angle or line. For example, control and do my right side, still holding control, it will give me a nice straight line as opposed to a line that can be slightly off my digitizing line. Left side, matching right side, left side and right side. Once again, press enter to generate your stitches. Let's move on to the next object. With digitizing block, each matching pair of points don't have to be both a straight or a curved point. You can mix them up to get special effects and shapes. For example, left click for straight, left click for straight, right click for curve, right click for curve, and in this case it will be another curve here, but a straight point here, another curve here, and a curve here, and a curve, and straight, curve, curve, finishing off with a straight. 
Once again, press enter to generate your stitches. And that's digitized blocks in Woolcom Hatch. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.